Maisie, breakfast, come on. Zoe, I've got to run. I'll see you both later. Susan are having a baby. Oh, that's great news. Fantastic. Isn't it just? Mm. Oh, I just love office babies. I remember when you brought Maisie in. <laughs> you didn't want to give her back, did you? Mm. How are you? Good, you. But how are you? I'm fine. Oh, good. So, Robert and Susan. <laughs> I'm putting money on them choosing one of those silly modern names. You know, something spiritual and flowery like honeysuckle or blaze. I mean, why would you do that? Why would you call your precious, sweet, gorgeous, darling baby something so hideous? I don't know, I always thought that if I had children, I'd, I'd choose something really classical like Albert. Just lost my stapler. He's heading down to Lost and Found now, see if I can find it. Why don't you just get a new one? Take your seat. I'll be with you in a moment. Sorry, I'm on the wrong floor. I, um, I work upstairs. <laughs> Sorry. What is this place, anyway? Lost and found. This is lost and found. We're usually just lost. <laughs> come, come, take a seat, please. Come on. What can 
I do for you? I've lost something. Excellent. You're in precisely the right place. Are you sure this is lost and found? Uh-huh. Of Stantel Inc. Incorporated. Ah, no. Of the universe. Sorry, what? The lost and found of the universe. Where anything that's ever been lost can be found. Right. Ah, here it is. Right. Damn. How do you know my name? Age? 32. 34. Occupation? <clears throat> uh, marketing. Stantel Inc. Incorporated. Inc. Inc. Look, what, what is Hang all this on, for? Just a couple more. Where'd you get that tie? My wife. My wife. Now, hold on just a second. And what here. have you lost, Daniel? My stapler. A stapler? Yes. Is it here? No. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure we got it. It's just not exactly what I was expecting. But I think we've got everything we need. Right. If you just follow me, we'll reunite you with that elusive stapler. Come on. Come on. Has this been under the office the whole time? What office? What exactly were you expecting? Expecting? Yeah, you said you didn't expect me to be here for a stapler. Ah, well, I expect you to lose stationary items like that. You know, banal, meaningless, replaceable things. But those sorts of items, they don't tend to make their way down here. You'll find only the most cherished items on these shelves. Cherished? Hmm. Oh, a man's old brass compass. Helped him guide his way through life. Can be worth far more than a king's crown. Ooh. Pipes for? Ah, these pipes. They're the veins of this place. They let me know where everything goes when it arrives. Of course, a lot of things get lost, so it, it's the best way of. Uh... Mm. Mm. Everything alright? Well, now, see, this can happen. It appears your stapler hasn't been catalogued yet. It's probably stuck up in limbo, more than likely. Stuck in where? You just have to find it yourself. I mean, I can give you a few pointers about where to look, but the rest is up to you. you... Ah, excellent. Here it is. Half the trouble trying to find this door. It's always on the move. What's in there? Limbo. Limbo? Bingo. It's not nearly as scary as it seems. I mean, we used to give our crash helmets for this bit, but, well, unfortunately, we lost those. Right, bend your knees, shoulders in, hold your breath. Anything else you feel you might have lost? I don't think so. I don't know what's going to happen in there. But I do know is it'll help you find what you're looking for. My stapler. Right. Shoulders, knees, hold your breath, find the gap. Don't touch any red buttons!
up and witness the great lost and found auction where all unclaimed items must go. What the hell is going on? Ooh, we have our first volunteer. What would you give to be reunited with your nearest and dearest lost possessions? Things you thought you'd never see again. Things you thought were lost forever. Let's have a round of applause for Daniel Morsley, everybody. Settle down. Our first item, Daniel's first football, lost when kicked over the wall into Mrs. Thompson's garden. So, to the lady in the pink dress. Our next item, Daniel Morsley's mess tins thrown into the river by the bully Alex Bramwell on Daniel's first ever scout trip. Who's gonna start me off? And it's gone! To the lady with the blue flowers. Our third and final piece, ladies and gentlemen. Got a little one that needs tucking up into bed and sending off to sleep. No better way of doing it than with these beautifully illustrated Maisie Morsley's bedtime stories. It's not for sale. Like I said, Daniel, all things must go. Then I, I'll bid for it. So who's going to start me off? Oh, we have a bit on the right. What I say you, Daniel? I don't understand what you oh, want. Oh, another bid over there from the lady at the back. Daniel, I need your bid. I don't have anything to give. This is a very popular item. Going once. I need your bid now. Go uh, twice. I'll, I'll give anything. I'll give anything. And it's sold. To the man not selling. Daniel knows. Looking for a stapler. I have one more place in mind.
get it. See me. No. Can I say goodbye? Yes. Pleasure meeting you, Daniel. Thank you so much. Yeah. Until next time, Mr. Morsley. Oh. Almost forgot. Couldn't let you leave without that. <laughs> I completely forgot. Yeah. Question is, what's next for Mr. Morsley? I think I'm going to be all right. Take care, son.